is Pyrogen the real deal? Or is it uh, a bunch of hype? I just transferred over a lot of substrate from this 200 gallon aquarium that you see here. It's partially drained so I can catch the fish. So I brought over fish and I brought over some substrate. As you can see, it clouded up the 300 gallon. Not too bad, but it is cloudy. So what I'm gonna do is drop three bags, these three bags here of pyrogen. This is Seachem pyrogen and it recommends one bag for every 100 gallons, as you can see here on the bag. So I'm gonna drop these in the sump and then we can go ahead and watch on a time lapse and see if it actually does clarify the tank, really uh, make it nice and clear. I usually don't use chemical filtration, but on a brand new tank, especially one that's been stirred up a lot like this one, I will go ahead and drop this in and leave it in until it exhausts and then toss it out and probably not replace it or recharge it. So let's go ahead and drop this in the sump and then uh, go ahead and monitor the tank on a time lapse and see if it starts to clear right before our eyes. Well, I have to admit that for this short period of time, I'm pretty impressed for how, with how clear the tank actually looks. Usually I give uh, Pyrogen 24 hours to do its magic, but uh, in a relatively short period of time, it looks like the tank is noticeably better. And that's despite the, uh, the autopharynx tetrastigma stirring up the uh, substrate in the back corner, making a pit not sure why he's doing that, but uh, he is. So at any rate, uh, there you have it. Now, full disclosure, there is a, uh, an FX6 contributing to clarifying the water. There's also, of course, the sump, uh, which is running uh, uh, two, I uh, should say, 5.0 pumps through a, uh, through a large wall of uh, Swiss tropical sponges those pour it, what they call matten sponges. So there is a lot of filtration going on in this tank. How much of the clarity is because of the filtration? How much is it because of the Pyrogen? One thing's for sure, the Pyrogen sure didn't hurt. Tank looks great and that concludes uh, my, my time-lapse look at Pyrogen. If you have any, any comments about your, your use of Pyrogen or any clarifying uh, type products, uh, Seachem Clarity, uh, Fritz, uh, Monster 360, Boyd Industries, they're, they're a Chemi Pure Blue or Green. Any comments that you can add below about those products and how they've worked for you, I would, I would love to hear it. Now, a uh, big shout out to the Aquarium Co-op. For providing the uh, for providing me with the with the bags of Purigen, and on a technical note, you notice that I dropped the bags right at the beginning of the sump where the water dumps into the sump. If I was going to be adding a chemical filtration for a long period of time, I would usually put it last. In other words, I would have the water go over the chemical uh, filtration as the last thing it touches before going back to the tank. 
just something I've been doing for years. Uh, the uh, Pawn Guru talks about it in some of his videos. But at any rate, that's normally how I would set it up. But for the sake of this demonstration, I just dumped it into the right side of the sump. And I'm only going to be using it uh, temporarily until it shows uh, signs of being exhausted. And at which point, I'll go ahead and just pull it out. So there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stop by on Saturday for cichlids and coffee. We'll talk about this and a whole lot more. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, be sure to give the, uh, the video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell and, sub and subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you'd like to support the channel further, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. The details on the Garage Gang and the Patreon program are in the, uh, in the description below the video. Thank you, my friends. That's it for me. Bye-bye.